ella desde que tenía 10 años me decía a mí, ¿verdad? desde chiquita que, mami, mami, cuando yo sea grande voy a escribirme al ejército, voy a ir. She felt like it was her duty to serve. She shipped out on June 10th of 2018. I'll never forget that moment because it was like we were saying goodbye. Now the search continues for missing Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillén. Es una fecha que nunca se podrá olvidar. We were talking the day before. I call her and I go straight to voicemail. I tried to stay hopeful, but deep down I knew something bad had happened. I didn't sleep the whole night, April 22nd. We better find her. a few incidences where she had told her colleagues, her friends, her family about being sexually harassed. She deserves respect. She deserves to be heard. Because if this can happen to my sister, it can happen to anyone else. You know, Vanessa Guillen's case was a difficult case. We kind of shook our head. What the hell's going on? New developments in the search for missing Fort Hood soldier. Destrozarle su cuerpo. We don't do that to even a, a terrorist. My sister did not deserve to suffer because for her, the great place hasn't done anything. ¿Qué motivo llevó a ese grado? ¿Qué es lo que pasó? ¿Por qué ese asesinato te por él? I know rumors. There's all kind of speculation. Why? Only Vanessa and God know, and neither one of them is going to talk to us. Yo quise morirme con él. We are not going to let Vanessa to have died in vain. We need these protections for our troops. Who's going to go and send their child to the military? Who's going to sign up and say, yeah, I can't wait to get sexually harassed and sexually assaulted this week? She had to die. She had to be murdered and dismembered and burned in order for us, all of us here, to realize that this is happening for decades. My story is a legend.